Hey guys, Nuka here. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about these universal cart cases that people are making for their Super Nintendo and their Genesis games, uh, regular Nintendo. Um, as you can see, this is what I did for Donkey Kong Country. I only had the cart and uh, no case. And to be quite honest with you, buying a freaking box for like 15, 20 bucks for this is insane in my eyes. So. I went ahead and I ordered these, this is what it looks like when you get them, from uh, Mediashelving.com and they only sell them in lots of a hundred. So I, yes, I went and bought a hundred of them. So if anybody needs any of these, let me know in the comments below, contact me, we can work something out. Um, so anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, I love the way it looks. Uh, we took out our HP printer and uh, had it in storage, took it out and uh, printed these up. Um, if you don't have a decent printer, they're going to look like crap. I tried to do it in our brother printer and it looks like poop. So anyway, this is the finished project product. Um, this is what they look like when you get them. The inside has like it's universal if a Genesis cart will fit in here as you can see but they're loose so I mean I've seen people modify these put foam in whatever I don't really care just as long as they're protected from the cats that's what I care about um, the Nintendo cartridges fit in there but they're loose like I said again I don't care I just want to protect it from the cats um, I saw some videos on these that people are actually selling them and they claim that the book fits in here. Well, let me show you something. There's a lip right here. It goes all the way around and when it folds over, it fits inside the edges. Right here. Well, if you take a Super Nintendo book, it doesn't fit. It overlaps this edge. So if you really don't care about your book, what you can do is put it in here. And if this will, will close if you push down on the edges here like this. But over time, that's going to damage the book. So I'm not doing that. Any books I have are going to go in a folder or something. I'm not doing that. So that is definitely a drawback of this case. If you want to keep your book with the game. Um, I'm kind of torn on this because I like the fact that how it looks. It'll look nice on the shelf. Let me, I did have a few. Let me line them up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I think it'll look nice on the shelf. You know, um, let's see, let's go like this. See, it'll look nice. Definitely look nice. Um, but not being able to keep the book in it is kind of a crapper. But, you know, whatever. I mean, I can put them in a folder. It's not a big deal. I just want the cartridges themselves to be, to be okay. See, that's going to look nice on your shelf. So that's that's much more preferable to me. Cost me about uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of two fifty to three dollars to make each case. By the time you factor in the paper and the ink, I'm using semi-gloss paper and um, HP printer. HP printer uh, with their ink. I use generic. The bad thing I did notice is. Especially on the Mortal Kombat, I had to actually print it twice because the first time I printed it, I went to cut it. You know, I waited until I thought it was dry, and then I went to cut it with my uh, edge trimmer. You know, I have a straight edge trimmer, and the ink came off on my hands. And my hands weren't wet, they weren't sweaty, nothing like that. So it doesn't dry real well for some reason on this semi gloss paper. Maybe it's the type, the, the brand of paper we're using. I don't know, but whatever. So like I said, it cost me about $2.50 to $3 to make each one, but that's much freaking cheaper than paying 20 bucks for a freaking cardboard cardboard little sleeve that originally came with. It's just not going to hold up to anything. It's wet. It's ruined. You know, screw it. I'm not going to pay extra money for that. It's kind of dumb. That's 15 20 bucks or so. It's just three. So screw it. So anyway, there's that. Um, I'll show you with the Genesis. I don't know, I haven't put tried to put a uh, 
a Genesis book in here yet. Which looks like the Genesis will fit without getting damaged. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it fits good in the, Gen the Genesis ones. But the Super Nintendo are just too damn long. So, this is just a crap game I did. Just see how it worked. So anyway, yeah, that's what I did. They look nice. I think they look really good. But, um, you know, this is definitely a solution to the problem of no box. And it's damn, damn cheaper. Uh, well, if you're not going to buy a whole case of them, which you have to through this company, it's cheaper. Um, I've got 80 of them right now I don't need, basically. So if somebody wants to trade, somebody wants to buy them, a buy, you know, a few for me, let me know. I'll do a deal with you. I don't care. That's fine. Um, you know, I'd rather help people out. And, you know, they're just going to sit here. So let me know if you guys need any. Um, always want to trade, buy, whatever. So leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. And um, like I said, this is a good solution, you know, to keep your carts safe but as far as the Super Nintendo books I would not shove them in there um, I wouldn't do it I'd rather just keep them in a folder flat something just not in here with the case so let me know what you think comment rate subscribe thanks guys